Welcome back to the show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg. You guys might remember Kendall. She was on Ari's season of The Bachelor, and she started dating grocery store Joe after Bachelor in Paradise. But they broke up, and now she has a new book. And I like it. I like the sound of this book. You guys know when you hear it, you'll be like, that's right up your alley, Jenny. It's called Just Curious, a notebook of questions. Available at KendallLong.com. Hey, Kendall, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I love anything with questions. I am a little curious Georgish myself, but to have a little help, a tool to help me do some inquiry, I think is amazing. Why did you want to write the book? Um, It's something that I honestly used personally for such a long time. I collect so many things and I had a notebook that I would squeeze in my backpack and bring with me everywhere. And whenever I thought of a question, I would just put it in there. And I'd bring it out on first dates as like an icebreaker or um, at like get togethers with friends or with family. And it really kind of served as a way for me not to be as shy or a way to bring up uh, more serious topics without it uh, being too awkward. And um, it was just a really great tool for me to start that really in-depth conversation with people. You know, I got to tell you, it's genius because a lot of people have a hard time with that entry, you know, that initial entry or people get are bored and they think they know everything about somebody and they could use a little advice as to how to, you know, break open the conversation with some questions. Oh, oh my gosh. I'll have you know that I have a twin sister who I've known since the womb. Um, and I will ask questions with her as I was um, publishing it. I would ask her all these questions just so she can help me narrow them down. And there were things that I found out about her that I didn't even know. It's insane. Someone that you think you know so well. And um, it just takes asking a certain question for your relationship to reach peaks you never knew. It's true. I mean, I've been with my husband for six years, maybe longer. And I asked him the other day, I go, we don't know each other's favorite colors. Like there are still things, even though we've had, you know, endless, we thought conversations about everything. We know each other, but there are still things we don't know. Can you give an example of some questions? Because I want as many people as possible to buy this book and let's suck them in with some example (laughs) questions. I love asking um, creative questions. I mean, I think with every question there, uh, I'm, I'm seeking to have, like, get so much out of the answer. Um, one of my favorite questions is, if you had an alien space gun um, that can enlarge an item 100 times its size, what would you choose and why? I um, love it. It's just I so it. crazy to see people's answers. People will say food, like cookies, or they'll say like a house, so they'll have a mansion, or... Um, you know, like the, the answers are so, cre- yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, th- th- their answers are so creative and I, and I love the creativity in that. Um, also I love the question at what age you get to know the most about yourself. Ooh, yeah. that's interesting. And I love that because everyone's different. Exactly. And I, I also feel like you can tell, um, what really defining moment shaped the person to be who they are. And that's usually like a huge moment in their lives. Um, so, so questions like that, even like, a, what are three things that you have in your freezer at all times? You oh, know, I, I mean, because it, it starts a conversation. It starts something like a fun, con- there's definitely, definitely some heavy hitting ones in there too. Ones that get I was going to say, there, is there some trauma asking ones? And how do you, how do you, how do you do entry with some trauma questions? You know, I feel like ask, not being afraid to ask the difficult questions is important because um, those are the questions that create vulnerability and in vulnerability, that's how you find true love, right? There is no love without vulnerability. And so I feel like the, my, the strongest relationships I've had are the ones that I've cried with, the ones that I've shared pain with. So um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask the hard questions. And I think this book is a way to get people to ask those questions more organically. You know, and, and you kind of need sometimes a tool, like it's helpful to have the book and be like, oh, I'm bringing this to dinner tonight, you know? So then you can yeah. rely, cause it's like, oh, I didn't make up these questions. We're just going to play this, you know, it's a uh, scapegoat. This... <laughs> it, that's exactly right. A scapegoat. And I told my listeners forever, use me as a scapegoat. If you ever want to yeah. try to start a conversation or talk about your, what you don't like during sex or you like during sex, just because yes. you need that handle. You need some it's communication, kinda... you know? And I think so many people don't know how to to start that communication or create um, an open space for communication. And this book is really just a tool for that. And so I've been so excited with all the conversations that I've started and continue to have through it. And let me plug it again. It's called Just Curious, a notebook of questions. It's available at kendalllong.com. Is it okay to bring this book to a first date? 
oh, of course, please bring it to a first date. Like that is kind of how the book began was bringing it to first dates. And um, it would also be, I feel like first dates can be so monotonous, asking the same questions over and over again. And it was really a way for me to have each date stand out and also to be able to expedite the relationship a little bit more and to get so much more out of a first date. So, mm. um, and also I feel like, I think people... I mean, especially I was extremely afraid to ask those hard hitting questions about marriage or um, aspirations in your future and things that people would be like, oh, this person's crazy for sure. Um, but w- th- there are questions like that in there that are more so delicately entering into it as opposed to how many babies do you want to have? It kind of is, uh, it shows you what the person's priorities are. Do you have you ever had experienced anyone where you've done these questions and they don't counter it, but like it was by saying, what about you? And you've, oh, so don't, <laughs> that happens. right. Yeah. I think, you know, it's really, that is such a great point. Cause it's so interesting. I will, um, I'll bring the book out and a lot of people will think, oh, this is just interview me time, you know? And, um, right. which, you know, is great in itself. But I also think an important thing about the book is that I want it to be good to go both ways. You know, you're supposed to learn about each other. It's not like an interview just on one person. Um, so but I that does tell you a lot about book. people. That does tell does. you a lot about the person you're with, you know? If it really like, does. Oh, I was in a relationship. No, I had this book, a notebook, and I had a boyfriend and, um, I would ask him the questions and he'd be like, and he would never ask me them back. And I was like, this is so telling. And it didn't work out. You know, the relationship didn't work out. (laughs) What are some other red flags that you've learned along the way in terms of maybe first dates? Like for instance, I'll give you one of mine and then I'll, Mm -hmm. I'll give you your turn. But mine was, um, cause my therapist actually made me go on a plethora of them to learn red flags because I would justify them. And she's like, Mm -hmm. no, you need to call them out. And one is like, always pay attention to how they treat the waiter and the service, you know, people, because that is a huge sign. If they're a dick to them, that, that is a, the nature of their, you know, their, their true self showing up. Um, what Perfect. about red flags for you? On a first I would say, I'm trying to think, um, if they don't treat my dog politely, <laughs> I, love I like introducing guys to my dog. Cause my dog, I rescued him. So he's a little bit sensitive when he first meets people, especially other guys who will take my attention away from him. So I I'm always, I, I also actually, <laughs> my roommates and I would do a, a a test where we would have the guy we're dating hold our pets and see how he holds them. Oh, that's and genius. it would show, it would show like how delicate they are or if they're considering, you know, the living thing or if they were um, like really goofy or if they were serious and rigid. So we always used to do that and take pictures of them holding our, holding our dogs. <laughs> that's genius. You're, you're onto something. Yeah. I will say that you're very, in, you're, you, what is the word? Inquisitive and also um, curious. I would use that word also. Yeah. Just curious, just like the book. Very um, much so. It's like my favorite descriptive word. <laughs> right? M- mine too. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, have you been watching the season of the bachelorette by chance? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And what do you, th- what do you uh, think about this whole switch up? You know, it's, um, I'm so happy that Claire found Dale. Um, the, the one thing that I love watching on the bachelorette is I love the bachelorette experiencing so many different kinds of relationships and then being surprised by a relationship that she didn't expect. So I was kind of bummed when Claire didn't have that experience. And then when Tasha came in and it seems like she's kind of exploring so many more relationships and giving other guys times to shine. It makes me really excited to watch it because that's why I love watching it. You right, know, right, I right. like people being surprised by relationships. Do you feel um, that Dale looked like he can't wait to get the hell out of there? I mean, honestly, towards the Initially, end. Initially, yeah. it was, you know, it, I feel like at first I was like, I couldn't believe it. You know, it was so soon. I know where my mind was that soon. And I was definitely not in the same place. Um, but, you know, I, I saw them in interviews, recent interviews they had together. And he he seems like he's extremely present. And um, also on their Instagrams, I, I look at all their Instagram stories and everything. And, it, you know, it's hard to it's hard to fake being together for that long. You know, right. and that's what I would always say about Joe's and my relationship. People would say, is it real? Is it real? It's like, we live together and we see each other every waking moment. You know, you'd, you'd be able to tell at a certain point if it's, if it's fake. And as far as I can tell right now, it seems like it's pretty genuine, which I'm excited you- about. Cause I, I really want her heart to be protected. Oh, you're sweet. You're very, very sweet. What about, um, I need to know this. What are the rules with interrupting people of like, can I steal someone for a second? Oh, you- oh, oh sorry. Is- my dog. Oh, I don't Back care. Here. 
He's I've heard hot. dogs. I've Very heard opinion. husbands. <laughs> I've heard children. I don't mind at all. Um, what about the stealing someone away? Shh. Here. Sorry, one minute. Weenie. It's okay. Come on. He's Hello, like, Weenie. He hears the dog upstairs and he's like, um, uh, you know, with stealing away, we did see actually with um, Ben that he didn't steal Taisha away. He never had the chance to talk to her and she's actually kind of bummed in the last episode. Right. So I feel like with stealing away, um, within reason, if you're going to just go in a lot of like a bunch um, during the cocktail night, um, I feel like it's a little too much as it comes on a little too strong. Um, but, you know, I feel like you have to put an effort. Totally. And let me ask you this, because if I was there and a girl said, can I interrupt? Can I have him some time? I'd say, no, fuck off. But that's me. <laughs> Are you guys supposed to say, okay, if someone does come up? Cause it feels like okay. that's part of the game. Like if someone comes up, you have to get up. It's one of those things where you don't want to be the person that starts a fight. Um, but <laughs> weenie, please don't. <laughs> He's like, um, for me, I feel like I felt like if the bachelor um, or, or whoever I was with really wanted to prioritize my time, they would say something just because unfortunately it's a situation where the power is kind of in their hands. Um, and I want someone to put effort towards getting to know me and being in a relationship with me. I never want to force someone to hang out with me. And I no. feel like if they want to be around you, they will. And if they don't, I'm going to make an excuse and give them an opportunity to make an excuse. And if they do, then I'm not a priority and they don't want to be, my, I don't want them to be my priority. So. That's right. Well said. You are a smart cookie, Kendall Long. You're going to be single <laughs> very long. I'm sure about that. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> the, bo the book, you guys, pick it up. I can't I can't wait to get my hands on this book. I swear to God, because this is so up my alley. I love just getting... A, I have all those dumb little games, those card games, too, of like it's asking questions. So this is, this is going to be awesome. Don't forget Christmas, guys, because this could also make a great Christmas present for people. Just Curious is the name of it. A notebook of questions available at kendalllong.com. I wish you the best. And um, thank you for this. Thank you for putting it out there in the world. Of course. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> got it. Bye, weenie. Bye, weenie. <laughs> I know, right? He's like so worried about the dog upstairs now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. My dog barks. I call her Bob Barker. So I totally get it. Oh, Thank hilarious. you so much, Kendall. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Bye, sweetheart. Bye.